Hello and welcome to the Dennis M. Lynch Arena for Rick Hockey Fridays brought to you by Anchor TV. And tonight we have an interesting matchup near the top of the NECHA as the conference leading Rhode Island College Anchorman take on the Daniel Webster Eagles. The Anchorman took sole possession of first place in the conference Saturday night after a win here against New Haven. Tonight, Daniel Webster comes in from the south of the conference and it should be a great matchup here. Jared Ware joined as always by Sam Allen. Sam, let's fill the people in. Missed a few games, obviously, we didn't cover over the weekend, especially that game against New Haven. Talk about that game quickly. The game against New Haven was definitely a big win. They both were tied for first place in the Colonial South, so it was a big win for the Anchorman. They won 5-2. to two. Most guys, everyone saw the ice. Our crowd definitely got into New Haven's heads. That's what happens when we travel to New Haven, so we decided let's bring it to them. The crowd got in the heads. They took sole possession of that game. It was a great game. And then Sunday, they actually traveled 10 o'clock at night at Tufts. They played one seven to three. We saw them play Tufts before at the beginning of the year. Knew it wasn't going to be that hard of a matchup, so it was good for a Sunday night game, one seven to three. Mark Natalizia had four goals in that game, so it's definitely going to be interesting to see. He's obviously doing well on his new line, so we'll see how the rest of that line goes. Now let's talk about tonight's matchup. Daniel Webster comes in here. What do you know about this Daniel Webster team? I know what I've heard from some of the players and coaches. Daniel Webster is a team that they could possibly see later on down the road, playoffs, especially in the finals. This is a good team we have a chance of seeing. It's a long history, like rivalry history we have with the team. So it should definitely be another good matchup like we saw last week. And as always, we have to mention the Mike Young counter. How many, how many points is he away from joining the 100-point club? Two. So knock on wood to you fans watching at home, we might be able to see a 100-point celebration tonight. Knocking on wood, don't want to jinx him or anything, but it's happening this season. And we saw a tremendous goal from him last game. Oh, we did. Against WPI, just turned a defender <laughs> inside out, finished coolly, unbelievable. That defenseman's still thinking about it. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to step away for a moment here. We'll bring you back with the introduction of the starting lineups and the national anthem here on Rick Hockey Fridays, brought to you by Anchor TV. Stick with us. Back here inside the Dennis M. Lynch Arena, we're set for the national anthem in the introduction of our starting lineup, so we're going to send it to the ice.
So our starting lineup tonight for the Daniel Webster Eagles, we have Ronnie Corcoran, Bobby Loringer, Marcus Marion. Uh, that's your starting line. And the defensive pairing is Justin Chuli and Chris Gordon for the anchorman. It's going to be Mark Natalizia, Mike Young, Marco Scotti as the first line out. And the defensive pairing is Nick Bruno and Brad Conway. So we've seen this Natalizia, Young, Scotty line move up. As, re as recently, they've been fantastic together. That, that line has been unbelievable in the game, especially that WPI game we saw. We saw that great goal from Young. Scotty rattled the post on multiple occasions, and Mark Natalizia looks dangerous every time he's on the puck. Oh, yeah. Then you always, as always, have to keep an eye out for that second line of Tobias, Lyman, and Warnock. They can, all three of those guys can fill it up, specifically Warnock and Lyman. They have a great relationship together on and off the ice. So a lot of chemistry there. A lot of goals can be had between those first two lines. And we saw first period against New Haven, a feeling out process for both teams, no goals, and then the anchorman come out in that second period, light up, light up New Haven for three goals, and that was yeah. the end of the issue there. Oh, God, yeah. New Haven didn't get on the board to the third, very beginning of the third period of that game. Vinny was unstoppable. And things got dicey there in that third for just a moment. Just a little bit. And the anchorman pulled away in that one, now sitting in first place in the conference, and this should be a good one here. This is two teams on the ice right now who could see each other deep into these playoffs that are coming up in just a few weeks. Set to drop the puck here on this one. Now, I expect this first period to be similar to New Haven, where I, I'd be very surprised if oh we yeah. see a goal here in this first period. We're going to see both teams just feeling each other out here. And then in the second, I expect both teams to really open up. Yep. Bruno has it here, shovels it up to Scotty. And Mike Young gets lit up there. Ronnie wow. Corcoran that was a came hit to across. Start the game. Wow. Right underneath us. That'll wake you up if you're yeah. Mike Young. <laughs> it's going to be a physical game. Here's Corcoran on the offensive end. Dumps one off. Not on the same page there with Loringer. And Young just hits him right back. Got to match the physicality in a game like this yep. as Scotty breaks down the right wing. Fires in a shot there, and that's going to be gloved by John Campbell. John Campbell out of Cape Corral, Florida. I don't know if he's used to these New England <laughs> winners. Yeah. He's only a <laughs> freshman here. Oh, yeah, no, no. They have hockey down there? They have a few <laughs> players on the <laughs> roster from Florida. All right, actually, Marcus Marion, who's out on the ice right now, or was out on the ice, he's a Florida native as well, Tampa. Oh. As Lyman fires a shot across the face, a goal there. Lyman has it once again in the corner. Drops one off for Moore, who fires from the high slot. Had a chance. Kicked away there, though. Good job by Campbell early on in this game. Had to first shot from Scotty. Not too much to worry about. Yeah. That one there from Mora had a little more venom behind it. Mora here in possession for the Anchorman. And we're seeing it here in the early stages. Both teams just feeling each other out. Pretty even first two or so minutes, which is, for our broadcast here, we've <laughs> seen a lot of early goals inside yeah. the first minute, two minutes. So this, this game will definitely have a different feel to it. We've seen a lot of one-sided games, too. This will be similar to the Roger Williams game, uh, Roger Williams yeah. game that we saw here earlier in the year. Warnock, he's going to fire a shot, save, but a long rebound fell the lineman. Hopefully, Good. this will be a different outcome than that Roger Williams game we saw. Fell to the backhand of lineman. He skied that shot, but Campbell's got to be careful. Can't leave those long no. rebounds out front, especially for a guy like Alex Lyman, who, when he's in front of goal, oh yeah, lethal. dangerous, <laughs> absolutely lethal. Shot came in there off the stick of Brian Luther. Loose puck here. Daniel Webster is going to pick it up. Breaking down the left wing. That shot was partially deflected there. Mike Nadiger got across. Partially blocked that shot that came off the stick of Chuli. Conway has it here for the anchorman. And he's going to take it out himself down this right wing. Or excuse me, that's Ryan Huber. And he's back from a back injury. Last time we were here, that was last Friday. He was yep. not on the ice. Came back, was playing in that game Saturday. Only a couple minutes, though. Just kind yep. of feel him out a little bit. Make sure he can handle it. So it'll be interesting to see the role that he plays in this Definitely. game. That changes that defensive pairing. Last time we were here against WPI, the Nadiger brothers were a defensive pairing. Now it's going to be Mike Nadiger and Ryan Huber together. Huber has it here. Plays about Luther giving chase. We'll also see a slight change to this forward line as well as TJ Jack Bonnie. He's out of this game. 
So that line is now composed of Frank Ronnie, Ricky Pannone, and Brian Luther. So really only one change, but does kind of change the complexion yeah. of that line. Mike Nadiger is going to track back there. We're going to get an icing call. 17.04. And at the early stage of this game, KG. No one's really taking control of this game so far. Not Some yet. pressure, though, put on for, uh, by the anchorman. Oh, yeah. Both goalies have seen a little bit. It's going to be a good game. Rose is going to take the face off here for the anchorman. And that's going to be one on, one on the ice there by R Kyle Russell. Shot comes in wide by Nick Bruno. There's a shot covered up. I believe that came off a stick of Spencer Rose. Just on that left wing. Again, not a lot behind that shot. Easy pickings for Campbell. First line's going to skate back on for the Eagles. Loose puck, poked behind. Loringer was looking in the direction of Marion, nearly had it intercepted. Marion has it now, though. Eagles looking to break down the right wing. Not much coming of it. Conway is going to pick up that loose puck, play it towards Bruno. Bruno has it here down the right wing, has Larry Anthony in front of him, fires a shot in the direction of Campbell, who just kicks it away from him. Rosniak shovels that puck behind. Saucer pass there from Daniel Webster, gets it into the neutral zone. Again, no one out in front of Marion. Nowhere to go for him as the anchorman defense was there. One of the strengths of this team is his anchorman defense. Oh, Mark yeah. Natalizia comes off the bench and knocks down <laughs> Marcus Marion. Physical start to this one, and that's to be expected in a exactly. game between two pretty good teams. Scotty has it now working down the right wing. That gets poked away there. Good job by Chris Gordon. Mike Young shovels it towards Scotty. Gordon's here defending. Scotty's going to get the puck, though. He did a good job using his body to sort of box out Gordon. Eventually lost it. It's played out to Marion, breaking down the left wing. Tried to go cross ice and had it stolen away by Conway. Shot fired in from the blue line. Gets blocked on its path. Viola has it. Fires wide. Was turning there. That always difficult to get that shot on target as he was trying to spin there about 180 degrees and get that shot on net. Missed just wide. Puck behind here. Conway looks to get across and clear that. Daniel Webster, good four-check pressure early on here, keeping this puck in the attacking zone. Two anchormen converge and lay out <laughs> an eagle in the corner. That's teamwork. Believe that was Michael Houch who got the worst of that. Eagles play it forward to complete. Whiff there and a big hit as Jay McGrath gets knocked in the boards by Marco Scotti, who earlier in the season was a defenseman, so you know he can hit with the best mm -hmm. of them. Brett Moore putting some pressure on behind the net. We're going to have a delayed call here. I believe it might be on Mora. Let's see who's going to the box here. Oh, nope, Scotty. It's going to be Marco Scotti, first penalty of the night here, so an early opportunity for Daniel Webster to get on the board with a man advantage. The anchorman, they've been strong this year in penalty kills, so hopefully they'll be able to keep it up tonight. This is a game where you can't let up those shorthanded goals. Bonin, Corcoran, Marion on the ice right now for, the we for Daniel Webster. Defensively for them, Frank Guarino and Mike Viola, I believe. Are we... Okay. Brett Moore just Brett left Moore the ice. skating off the ice there. Don't really know what happened. Taking a look at the replay here. He hit someone in the boards. I don't know if he got a call for. Um, See the hit from Scotty right in front of something. The Martinelli with the puck, going down, trying to get it out of their zone. Viola's going to skate back. Pressure put on by Lyman. Daniel Webster needs to make the most of this opportunity, an early power play opportunity as Marion has it. Skates to his left, 
Puts one on net. Viola was crashing. No rebound there. Tadino did a nice job just pushing that puck around his post. Lyman doing a good job putting a little bit of pressure oh. on, or excuse me, Warnock putting a little pressure on the goalie, Campbell. Again, good pressure here by Alex Definitely. Lyman on the four check. Not much going here for Daniel Webster in the early stages of this power play. Need to get something going. Dumped behind here. Corcoran has it on the right wing. Drops one off. It's in the corner. Corcoran gets it right back. Viola's going to fight her shot. That's blocked. Puck cleared into the neutral zone. So Daniel Webster has to retreat. Dumped in there by Guarino. Martinelli plays it forwards off the boards. Kept in the, the attacking zone there by Daniel Webster. Shot off the post there. And then that shot taken from a tight angle by Marion. Always going to be tough to beat Tadino with a tough oh, angle yeah. like that. So Daniel Webster starting to come into this power play a little more. 44 yeah. seconds left here. 13-10 in this first period. We're still knotted up at nothing. Beginning of that power play for Daniel Webster was not pretty, though. They had it in their defensive zone way too long for their comfort. McGrath has it. Quick shot there. Came off the stick of Houch. Anchorman looking to clear once again. It's still in the Daniel Webster zone. Houch miscontrols. Truly played it across to his defensive partner, Loringer. Loringer plays it forward off the boards. Little hit in the middle by Rose. Houch again down the left wing, fires a shot, covered up by Tadino off his chest and into the glove. 17 seconds left on this power play. McGrath and Rose going to take this face off here. Puck still loose. Shot fired and saved and dove on wow. by Vinny Tadino. The shot came off the stick of Kyle Russell. Again, a freshman out of Tingsboro, Massachusetts. A Tingsboro Tiger, if you're wondering at home what their mascot <laughs> is. I, I think they're the Tigers. I'm, gonna, I'm confident they're the Tigers. I'm not 100% sure, though. They are some form of large jungle cat, though. I know that. There you go. Brett Moore. Or excuse me, Mark Natalizzi is going to skate in there as Mike Young gets kicked out of the faceoff circle. Puck play back, Loringer plays it off the boards. Pressure put on there by Mike, Mike Nadiger. Loringer has it back, plays it. Puck moving around quickly here. Shot saved once again from Russell. Tadino does a good job stopping the freshman's effort, and that's going to be it for the power play there. So. Late in that power play, some opportunities for Daniel Webster, but alas, that black puck doesn't find the back of the net. We're still knotted up at zeros. Seen a little bit more aggression for both teams after every yep. shot. There's a little play she didn't show, and this, this game has potential to see some penalties. Corcoran wins the face off. Loringer plays it out to the right wing. No one home for the Eagles. Natalizia just going to try and clear it. Scotty giving chase here. Young has the puck, plays it out in front for Natalizia, can't get a shot off. Good job there defensively by Corker and getting back and lifting the stick of Natalizia, making his life dis difficult because if he was able to pull the trigger there, might have been one nothing anchorman. Conway loses possession, cross ice pass, just out of the reach of Marion. Bruno plays it forward towards Natalizia, who was looking off the boards for Young. Nice hit by Young there. Puck back with Bruno, skates behind the net. Scotty looking to play towards Natalizia. Good job defensively by Daniel Webster once again. Guarino gets across. Their defense is on point tonight, I have to say. But that Down except that little mix-up. Natalizia has it knocked away. Marion, who's played a lot of minutes so yeah. far early in, the, <laughs> early in this game. I don't even know if he's taking a seat He's going to get tired yet. really quickly. <laughs> Not a lot of line changes so far from Daniel no, West, Webster, all. especially in the forward department. They the do have a small roster, though. Yeah, at, definitely. Compared to the Anchorman oh, roster, yeah. much smaller. They don't have as many bodies to switch in. So how long are they going to be able yeah. to play at this pace, especially when the Anchorman like to play with pace, like to play at a high speed? It's going to be taxing for the Eagles come, that, oh, come yeah. the second period. Yeah. We shall see the long way to go <laughs> in this one. Shot. Nearly deflected out front 
by Russell, who's had a few opportunities in this one. Tried to redirect that. Tadino just got a little bit on that. But it nearly snuck in five hole. Martinelli plays it up in the direction of Pannone. Pannone dumps it forwards. Gonna get a line change here from the anchorman. Kept in by Martinelli, just barely. <laughs> Daniel Webster with it. Viola plays it across the boards. Martinelli once again in the neutral zone. Played it forwards in, towards Lyman. Lyman couldn't control that pass. Tobias lays out for a loose puck. Huber picks it up. He's gonna fire a shot, misses wide. Just to the left of that post, or the right-handed post of Campbell. Good look, good shot. Don't mind him taking that one. Nearly an opportunity oh. for Houch there. Good job by Huber that getting across, nice. putting a little wood on him. Someone coming off of an injury. There Puck still loose out front. We're going to get a whistle to blow it dead. Viola was out front there. We're going to see a face off here. Tobias is going to skate in to take it as well as Jay McGrath. McGrath, another freshman. He's out of Chelmsford, Massachusetts. Went to Neshoba Valley Technical High School which is not Neshoba Regional, which is in Bolton, Massachusetts. <laughs> These are all from your neck of the woods, huh there, Jared? Neshoba Valley is like an hour away. Neshoba is like 10 minutes away from Hudson. Oh, there you go. A lot of guys from Mass on this Daniel Webster roster, so I know a lot, yep. of, these, a lot of these towns, a lot of these areas. It's right on the border of uh, Mass and New Hampshire. About an hour and a half away. Not that bad of a drive. I have to say I took it last year. Face off one here, shot taken. That was going wide. Tobias got in the way of that. Guarino took the shot from the point. Lyman in possession on the right wing. Goes cross ice towards Warnock. Warnock couldn't corral that pass. He's going to chase it down, played it back up front towards Lyman. Again, Guarino doing a nice yeah. job preventing Lyman from getting on the end of that pass. Daniel Webster doing a good job yeah. defensively. And they're defending the difficult. right guys. That, that, yeah, they're doing a good job. Got to give them props. Puck played forward by Houch. Nadiger has it here, plays it off the boards. Device pokes it along, no one home though. Guarino's gonna burst forwards, couldn't get past Lyman though, and Houch gets knocked. Ooh, and knocked we just saw a little Warnock. bit of a tussle there. Ooh, Warnock going at it, Nadiger got tripped, took the guy with him. Warnock and Houch, they had a, a discussion there, a gentlemanly discussion. <laughs> if that's what you wanna call it. Coney Warnock's gonna go to the sin bin <laughs> once again, so the power play See if anyone from Daniel Webster is going to follow him. It doesn't no, look like it. No, it does not like look it. like there's going to be matching at so all. It looks like we're going to have another power play here for Daniel Webster. 8.56 left in this first period, and we're going to see the first minutes of the night for Alex Nadiger for the anchorman. I can tell you the coaching staff <laughs> do not want to be on special teams as much not, as they've been so far in this first all. period. That's always one of Coach Cal's keys to the game. Not sticking with it tonight. Can the Eagles make the anchorman pay here is the question. Got to make these opportunities count in a big game like this. Rose oh. had a chance after a sloppy pass from Chuli, I believe. I'm surprised that it went down into our offensive zone that quickly. Oranger played it forward. Tadino comes out, slows down the puck. Nadiger clears it around the boards. Chuli's going to chase that puck down. Pressure put on here Rose by right Rose. On the four check on the power on the penalty Ooh. kill has been fantastic so far for oh, the yeah. anchorman. And again, Daniel Webster almost loses possession in their own zone. Viola breaking down the right, plays it back towards the middle that nearly got deflected in. I believe oh, that yeah. went just wide. Houch. Vinny did not know where that was for a second. You could see him looking around. Looked like it almost came off the leg of Houch as he got knocked over, was sliding in. And Puck we're gonna get loose. a penalty. I don't know on who. But and again, a little something. pushing and shoving, a little extracurricular activity. Nadiger's going at it with a couple guys tonight. But that we, we see that often in big games like this with Mike Nadiger. He's the enforcer. He's the guy that will protect, protect Tadino. And it looks like Alex Nadiger, oh. the younger brother <laughs> of the two, is going to go to the sin bin here. Learning so a little bit of something from the older brother. Five on three hockey here. You got oh, 50. Nope, we're matching. All right, so we got matching penalties here. Viola's going to take a seat. So we got five on four still. Yep. 55 seconds left on that original penalty. Then we got a fresh two and two there. And let's take a look at the replay. Sam, let me know what's going on here. 
it looks kind of like Nadegar kind of pushed him with his back into the boards, then proceeded to push him down a little bit more. That's going to be interference. They need to be able to control a game that they can already tell. What, 13 minutes in, it's already getting intense. They're going to want to control this game. They don't want people getting hurt this close to playoffs. They don't want it getting out of hand. Natalizzi and Marion going to take the face off here. Puck in the corner, pressure put on by Houch. Houch has it here behind the net. He gets not. He gets we'll tripped get there, penalty. so we're going to see another penalty. They're going to call that on Brad Conway, I believe. Coaches don't look happy over there on the bench. Not at all. So it's going to be five on three. Three anchormen in the penalty box at the moment. 46 seconds still left on that original penalty. So <laughs> a, a tricky situation oh, yeah. here. The next... Two or so minutes are going to be crucial oh for yeah. the anchorman here. And if Daniel Webster is serious yeah. about being a title contender in this conference. They need to produce on this one. Daniel Webster, that's what they want to do. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Loringer plays it to Marion. Marion fires a shot. Saved in front by Tadino. Rebound was there. Moore is back on the ice, may I add. So he didn't get kicked out of the game. Don't really know what happened to him, but he's back. Maybe it was an equipment issue that's or something like that. That's what I'm like thinking. That. So Guarino is going to bring it up here for Daniel Webster. 20 seconds left on that original penalty. Still a few guys left in the penalty box at the end of that. And we're going to get an offsides call there on Daniel Webster. 7.08 left in this first period, 13 seconds. Again, left on that original penalty. It's five on three at the moment. Five Eagles, three anchormen. Anchorman right now just looking to hold on. I think if, you t if you'd ask them right now, if they go into this first period 0-0, zero, zero, they'd be happy. Oh Daniel yeah. Webster, conversely, would not. Loringer has it. I think we're going to see Warnock hop out of the box and stay on the ice. I, knowing the people that we have on right now, I think they're going to keep him off to try to have him produce with along with Lyman. Truly shovels it into the corner towards Russell. Back out to Loringer, pokes it along. Corcoran has it now in the corner. Good job by Moore dispossessing Corcoran. Lyman there we go. just going to clear this forward. Or not. McGrath now, and we're going to get another offsides on Daniel Webster. <laughs> it's going to be a long night there, Jared. Lots of whistles tonight. First first penalty over, so we're back to five on yep. four at the moment. Still got those matching in there. Still have matching in and the box. Conway. Natalie is going to take this face off at the center circle. McGrath wins it. Chulo, Chuli, excuse me, plays it forwards. Scotty couldn't handle that pass. Played for McGrath, given chase. Ripped clear there off the stick of uh, uh, Mike Nadiger, excuse me. Didn't want to make any mistakes with that one. Natalizia working for possession. It's going to stick with the Eagles here. And into the boards did Marco Scotty. Not, not, not a huge not hit, a but Houch, hit. Houch is going to feel that one in the yeah. morning. Truly has it. Plays it over into the corner towards Russell. Houch plays it back to Russell. He's in the corner all by himself. Truly calls for it, gets it, fires a shot. Good job by Scotty getting down and blocking that one. Loringer has it here at the point. Can play it forwards. Here's Russell. Russell back out to Loringer. Loringer fires a shot from the point, saved by Tadino. Long rebound out to Russell. Russell again to Loringer. That one. He's got a slap shot. Blocked away there by Tadino. And we're going to get another delayed penalty. Huber's going <laughs> to get called for a penalty there on Houch. Russell has it, fires across the face of goal. Guarino keeps it in. And we're going to get Anchorman possession there. So that's where we're going to get that whistle. And we're going to see Ryan Huber go to the box. Yep, and we're going to see those two matching penalties come out. I don't think Coach Quinn is going to be too happy nah. when he comes up here for, <laughs> that, for the first intermission interview. I think he's going to tell us. We need to stop. Yep. We need to stop with the penalties here. We need to keep oh. five guys on the ice. I and it looks like Huber is going to get a boot there. Third game back, and he's getting booted from the game. Might have just mouthed off a little I bit there on yeah. his way towards the penalty box. So it he's happens. gone for the game. Yeah. It happens with the refs. They don't like that. I've seen it happen where a kid has sworn three times. Each swear was a different game. The refs, that's what they don't want that. They don't want the mouth. It only will lead to more on the ice. So we're going to see a five-minute game misconduct. Whew. And this first period has been ugly for oh the yeah. Anchorman. But look at the scoreboard. It's still 0-0, but they're going to have to play basically the rest of this period a man down. 
So again, as I said, the anchormen are going to want to get into the locker room here and knot it up at zero. <laughs> Limit the damage here in this first period. You can't win a game in the first period, but you can definitely pretty much lose it in the first yes. period. Well, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. If we keep the strong guys on the ice during this five minutes, the team shouldn't be too bad if you keep guys like Lyman and Warnock, Mora, those kind of guys. I feel like we can keep it down to 0-0 zero, zero going into the second. Alex Rosniak is going to be the guy who has to go and serve the penalty for Huber, who's taking a shower early tonight. <laughs> Truly has it here for the Eagles. And especially against a team like Daniel Webster with a small roster, you'd like to be five on five and really test their yeah. legs early on in this game. At this point, they're We're able to dictate that. the yeah. pace of the game. And you're not going to wear these guys out if it's five on four the entire game and you're a man down. Bruno has it, plays it forwards towards Lyman. Helped it along Warnock. Couldn't latch on to that pass. Four check pressure here by Warnock. He has it. There we go. Just going to hold it here. Just looking to burn some clock here in the corner with this scrum. Does a nice job there, burns a couple seconds. Here comes Daniel Webster once again. Marion gets tripped from behind, and we're going to get another delayed penalty. Oh, man. He's hurting on that one, too. No, they're going to. They're going to call Did it on Did they call it Marion. on him? Wow. That, not something you see all the time. The guy getting hurt is the one that gets the penalty. He can ice it while he's sitting in the box for a little while. And he, yeah. Interesting decision Definitely. there is Marcus Marion, the wow. sophomore. That's going to help boost the increment a little bit, I think, on that one. The sophomore out of Florida, Tampa, Florida. He's going to take a seat here. That is an interesting decision. Definitely. There. I, don't know what <laughs> I don't know what that one Marion didn't do much, I can tell you that. N not something I have experience seeing in any hockey. I don't think I've ever seen the guy who gets hurt get the penalty. I don't know if they call that a dive there or something. They might line, have. But four on four hockey here again. The anchorman still four minutes left on that game misconduct, which is still pretty much the rest of the period. They'll have 22 seconds not on the penalty there. So we're going to get an icing call on Daniel Webster. So still, it's good to get that penalty two it minutes is. here where it's even. But again, it will be another two minutes after that of Daniel Webster with a man up. So still a lot of work to be done here in this first period. And again, a lot of mistakes early here, but no goals no. to note. So Warnock wins the face up, fires a shot, now and we have scores. A goal. <laughs> there we go. And that is a huge goal for the anchorman there. And the penalty on Marion immediately there cost we Daniel Webster. Marion, his arm's going to be hurting a little bit more after that shot by Warnock. And what a goal that was that by was Warnock. Nice. Didn't have much of, much of an angle, but fires nope. the puck into that top left corner, right over the left shoulder of Campbell. Campbell's not going to be too happy with no, himself. No, not at all. That's, I think that's going to boost the increment a little bit. Still with all these penalties, it's something that's going to bring Let's it in. Let's take another look at this goal there. It was just Warnock right off the faceoff, yep. won it. All it was. All it needed to be. He wins the faceoff, gains the puck. And now we're going back down to our offensive zone. Fires, fires that puck in there. Just a great solo effort from it Cody is. Warnock. And one of your leaders on your team, that's exactly what you want in a big game like this. He is our overall leader. He now has 41 points on the season. Really been struggling all game long. You pick up a goal there, and now yep. all of a sudden, the game kind of gets flipped on its head. You still got to play defense here for the next three minutes or so. As Jack Edwards said last night during the Bruins, we Warnock, have a hockey game. Nearly another there as he slashed through the Daniel Webster defense. Shot was deflected just wide. Still four on four here at the moment. Shot oh. saved there. That was a wow. ripped shot. That could have, we've seen that happen before. Get deflected into the net. Brian Luther with that shot from the that point. Was nice. A lot of heat behind that one. Good save by Campbell, who hasn't had to do much no. since the anchorman started racking up those penalties. First shot that he was really faced with while uh, after that period ends up in the back of the nut uh, at back <laughs> of the net, and then you get that shot from Luther there, able to save that one though. Dino plays it off the board, picked up here by Luther. Possession with the anchorman now, 3.08 left in this first period. 2.44 on this game, misconduct. Still left for the anchorman, giving chase here is Pannone. Puck is loose here in the anchorman zone. Nadiger just plays it into an open area ice. 
Truly has it now for Daniel Webster. Looking for something in front of him. Has his pocket picked there by Pannone, who just dumps it forwards off the boards. Gordon has it, plays it off the boards. Possession with Houch here, gives it back to Gordon. Gordon bursting forward from defense, is gonna fire a shot. Pushed wide by Tadino. The Eagles are back to full strength. And it looks like number 18 who was serving the penalty with the hurt arm is actually gonna stay on the ice. So Marion's gonna stay out on the ice, popped right out of the box in the attacking zone now. Battle for possession behind the net. Anchorman are gonna win that one. Mike Nadiger. Pressure put on here though by Marion. Coming in from behind, I believe underneath there was Houch and he's knocked off the puck there by Rose. Rose, who does a great job defensively for the anchorman from that center position. Always gets back defensively, does a great job. He's got, he's a, got a body, he can hit. Fired that shot back in, really again, not much of an angle there for Rose. Easy save by Campbell. Puck battle for here in the corner. Marion gets it out, plays it across to Chuli. Truly breaking down the right wing, has Houch with him. Poked away by Conway. Houch has it here, wrapping around. Fires a shot to Dino, saves that with the glove. 127 left in this first period, 105 left on that game is conduct. So for all intents and purposes, the Eagles pretty much dominating this first period. But the only stat that yeah. matters is goals exactly. right now. They can have one. Daniel Webster yet to open up their account. Guarino plays across to Loringer. Loringer fires wide. Puck comes back to Guarino at the point. Dumps once towards Russell. Russell was looking for Loringer, who was crashing. Russell gets back. Pressure put on here by Natalizia. Viola has it here for the Eagles. Has it now on the right wing. Bringing it down in the corner, go, try to go cross ice towards Russell. Intercepted on its path. I believe Scotty got a stick in the way of that. Puck's behind the net. And we're gonna get it go, and it's gonna go out of play there. 53 seconds left in the period. 31 seconds again left on that game misconduct. Again, Ryan Huber picked up that game misconduct. Mm -hmm. So he is out for the rest of the game. Again, came back just two games ago off an injured back, which has been a career problem for him. Injured, yes. his high, injured his back in high school. And we saw him here inside the Lynch Marina re-aggravate that injury. Not as not, not to as the same serious. extent. No. But you need to be careful if, you're if you've had a back injury before. Yep. That's always something you got to be cognizant of. His doctors were kind of unsure if he could even finish out the season just to make sure it didn't happen again. Marino plays it to Loringer. Loringer tried going cross sites, nearly stolen by Warnock. Dumped back to Viola. Warnock's going to step in and seal that puck. Dumps it forwards. And we're going to get a whistle here. Offside? Yes. That would be an offside call. Rosniak just kind of drifted off there. a little bit quicker. As he comes out of the box here. So 19 seconds left in this period. Back to full strength for the first time in about 10 minutes yeah. is what it <laughs> seems like. Corcoran going to take this face off. Warnock, excuse me, Tobias is going to skate in here for the anchor men. Houch tries firing the shot right off the face off win. Was deflected on its path. Houch putting pressure on here. Puck still loose in front. Gets and cleared away from out stick. front of Tadino. We've seen more broken sticks tonight than I think we have in any other game. That's Brett Mora who <laughs> lost his stick. Lost his stick, but now he's going to play soccer. And that's going to be it for the first period here. So really against the run of play, it's one nothing Anchorman. We're going to step away for just a moment, and Sam Allen will have an interview here in this intermission. Stick with us here on Rick Hockey Fridays, brought to you by Anchor TV. Sam Allen here with head coach Chris Quinn. Chris, you guys got on the board first at the very end of the period, but you guys saw a lot of penalties. Your penalty kill was strong, but like you said, it's not something you always practice very often. How do you feel? about having that many penalties to start this game? It's it's not a pace we can keep up. Um, we, we do practice the penalty kill quite a bit, but you plan on it with just about six of the players on the penalty kill. That length of time trying to kill it off, you gotta start introducing new guys, get fresh legs out there. They're not quite 
as comfortable in the system that, that we play. So it makes it very diff difficult. Luckily, with a little bit of hard work, we did get that first goal on the board. Kind of set that momentum back with that five-minute penalty. Can you tell us what exactly happened with Ryan Huber? From our angle up here, it just looked like a little bit of a pushing and shoving just to be a two-minute penalty, but it was a five-minute major. Um, the rule is, and, it, and I spoke with the, the ref uh, right after, and it was basically going by the textbook. The rule is if he's about a foot off the board, six inches, and the contact is made and he does make contact with the board, they have to call the, the game uh, in the five-minute major. So it wasn't as big of a hit. He didn't really catch him, but he did make contact with the board. There you go. All right, what are you going to tell the team when you go back down here? Obviously, this is a big game for you guys. You want to keep up the intense momentum, but the refs look like they're trying to control it and give out a lot of penalties. What are you going to tell them to keep up the momentum but not get put in the box? One thing we have to do, the first thing we have to do is um, once we get back to five on five is really pick up our speed and, and increase the tempo that we're playing at. If we can do that, and a lot of the con uh, calls that you see is the heavier contact maybe ride the body off a little bit more with these two referees. If they're going to call it that way, we have to adapt to what they're calling and adjust our game plan accordingly. All right, well, good luck the rest of the game. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that was our interview with Coach Grin. We'll be right back with more Rick Hockey Fridays. Jared Ware, Sam Allen here back inside the Dennis M. Lynch, Lynch Arena here for Rick Hockey Fridays, brought to you by Anchor TV. After one period, it's one nothing. Anchorman Cody Warnock with the goal, unassisted, won the faceoff, slotted home at the near post in front of Campbell. So we go into the we go into that first period interval. Anchorman really struggled that half, picked up a lot of penalties, kept Daniel Webster off the board, got one of their own. But as we heard Quis, uh, Coach Gwynn talk about in that interview, cannot continue to rack up those penalties. No, not at all. The anchor, yeah, it might be strong right now, but it's it won't be strong halfway through this period. And now we're starting off this period with matching penalties. So it'll still be an even five on five, which is what the anchormen need right now. They need to have everyone out on the ice. But like you pointed out to me during the break, Daniel Webster's only played 11 guys. Yep. They have a short roster and they're not even using their entire yep. short roster. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. In the box for Daniel Webster, another Florida boy, Florida boy, Michael Houch, and he's from Oldsmar, Florida. Last team he played for, the Tampa Bay Raiders. In the penalty box for the Anchorman, it's going to be Brett Mora. As you said, matching penalties happened after the whistle went for the end of that first period. Two roughing penalties. So we thought the first period was going to be cagey. It definitely was. A lot of penalties and a lot of mistakes oh, by yeah. the Anchorman, but none of, them, none of them really cost them yep. just yet. And again, we have to ask the question, how long are these legs going to stay fresh for Daniel Webster? They're only playing 11 guys, as we mentioned. So oh, and I stand corrected. Oh, no. We are playing four on five. No, this is no, four, this and, four, this is four. four and four. I apologize. Sam, I Sam is a con major, not a math <laughs> yeah, major. Yeah, I'm never good at math. For those of you at home. Shot fired into the chest of Tadino. That came off the stick of Corcoran, who was breaking down that left wing. Possession still with Daniel Webster. Lyman came in, poked the puck away from Corcoran, and he has it now for the Anchorman. We saw the Anchorman co goal come on 4-4 four four hockey here. Let's see if they can make the same thing happen here as Lyman tracks back, licks, lifts the stick there of Loringer, steals the puck away. Puck gets knocked behind. Tadino's going to slow it down, plays it out to Conway. Conway pokes it past the defender, has it stolen away by, by Guarino. Puck played up towards Conway. He couldn't control it. It's going to run all the way to Campbell, who just slows it down a little bit. Weak shot there off the stick of, I believe, that was Nick Bruno who took the shot from the point. Didn't get much on that. Not a great connection. Matt D'Angelo plays that puck forward, so he's the 12th Eagle yeah. to step on the ice tonight. Not the rotation you would expect in a hockey game, especially a big one like this. Scrum in the corner for possession. Anchorman have it here. Cody Warnock tries to knock it past Guarino. Guarino's not going to let him pass. Bruno has it here in the neutral zone for the Anchorman. Plays it over to Alex Nadiger. Warnock rifles it forward. Mike Young's going to give chase here. Puts some pressure on Guarino. Guarino gets knocked over there. No call. Incidental contact. Shot from the point. That was Mike Nadiger. Kicked away by Campbell. Again, a long rebound. 
No one home for the Anchorman, though, to turn it home. Out to Mike Nadiger once again. We have the Nadiger brothers on the ice together, Mike and Alex. Mike wearing number 10, Alex wearing number 3. Mike tried to get a shot off there, backhanded. Knocked away on its path, and here comes Daniel Webster firing over the net as Houch pops out of the penalty box as well as Mora, so we're back to full strength here. And Mora is going to break down the left wing. Handles in front and oh, leaves it on a was, platter for yeah. Natalizia. That was close. All he had to do was lift that puck, and we're looking at 2 nothing. Campbell, though, gets one of those leg pads on it. Remains one nothing here. But it, a tremendous job by Brett Moore down the left wing oh, yeah. right out of the penalty box. I thought he was going to take that one on his own, honestly. Great bit of stick handling there to get away from the Daniel Webster defender. Unselfishly leaves it for Natalizzi. As that there shot is deflected go. into the back of the net. Shot came from the point from Conway. I think Scotty might have tipped it, though. Let's see if we have a replay of that. Maybe we can get a better look at who deflected that into the back of the net. Again, the shot came off the stick of Conway. And on its route, re redirected. Yes. Nothing Campbell could do there. No, not at all. Yeah, I'm thinking it was a Scotty goal. I see his mom going kind of nuts right now in the stand. So let's take a look here. Natalizzi had it in the corner. He's going to play this to the point back to Conway. The shot is rifled in there. And it, yeah, yeah, it looks like Scotty yep. out front gets a little piece of it, redirects it. A goalie's nightmare is that puck. Wow. Really deflected off the boards. Wow. Got past to Dino. If there was an eagle <laughs> on that far post, would have been a quick oh, yeah. response there. Moore knew exactly what to do on that one, though. He just, he got the puck. That Good. low <laughs> shot from the point covered up by Tadino. That came off the stick of Guarino. 16-54. 2 nothing anchorman. Cody Warnock had a solo goal in the first period. Second period, Brad Conway with the assist. Marco Scotti redirects yes. into the back of the net. I okay. was told by a former Rick hockey player that apparently a two-goal lead is the worst lead you can have in hockey. That's what I was told. So oh. hopefully it, it's not that case for the anchorman. That's what all the hockey players in high school used to say, two-goal lead, the most yep. dangerous lead in hockey. I used to always argue. I don't I, know why. Me too. <laughs> but I always say one-goal lead. Come th on. <laughs> their argument was always two-goal lead. You start to relax. All of a sudden, it's two to one, and you can't get the yep. engine re-going. Really the, they always come in pairs. That's what I was told. Goals come in pairs. You get one, you get another. Panone, he's going to fire low and yeah. hard and gets it through the five-hole of Campbell there. There we go. I think if I'm... Ricky Panone gets on the score sheet here. That is his first goal of the season for the freshman. First men. career goal for Ricky Panone here. Comes on Rick Hockey Fridays, brought to you by Anchor TV. There we go. So he'll have video evidence of that <laughs> one for the rest of his career. And we've seen him start to play a little more as we have the replay once again. Let's take a look at how this went down. Moore is going to pick up the puck here in the neutral zone, plays it to Panone, who is wide open. wide open. open. There's no one out there for him. And he had that perfect it, lane. Fires it low and hard. Now we don't have that. Now we have a three-goal lead. We're good. Ricky Pinone was like me at a high school dance all by <laughs> himself. Let's see. Oh, I would have danced with you, Jared. That's good to know. Possession <laughs> here with Marion. He's got a good two-on-one opportunity good and fires save. into the chest of Tadino. So Daniel Webster had opportunity after opportunity in the first period. Didn't make any of them pay. And the anchorman come out in the second period with the one goal advantage and extend immediately. And we saw them do this against New Haven. They come out in the second period ready to go, oh, extend yeah. their lead. And, and right now, three to nothing. Now, Daniel Webster's had a few looks, mm -hmm. nothing too serious. But this game right now is the anchormen are threatening uh, yes. to pull away here. Shot fired high and out of play. That came off the stick of Loringer. We're going to face off in the attacking zone for Daniel Webster. So, Brett Mora. Comes on the ice off that penalty. Now, we saw him go into the locker room for a large chunk of that first period, so he didn't play much there. Yep. Was in the penalty box to start the second period, but he comes in and has an immediate impact. Sets up Natalizia. Natalizia couldn't finish, and then he gets credit for the assist there to Pannone, a great find. And you got to wonder what Daniel Webster's defense was doing on that play, leaving a guy like Ricky Pannone yeah. all by himself right at the blue line. Shot, saved there by Tadino. That came off the stick of Guarino. Daniel Webster pressing here. They want to pick up a they goal here, a goal. cut into this lead. Still a lot of time in this game. More than enough time to mount a comeback here. Oh McGrath yeah. 
Gonna skate in with Tobias to take this face off. Guarino has it, he's gonna fire in the shot. That gets deflected. Breaking out here is Tobias. He has Warnock to his left. Drops it off to Lyman. Lyman played it out front to Tobias who couldn't get a stick on that. Another opportunity for the anchormen here. Viola skates away from Alex Nadiger. Puck corralled out, fl out front. Just push forward here. Shot comes in. That was taken by D'Angelo. Missed wide. Shot by Chulio, or Chulo, excuse, Chuli, excuse me. <laughs> Didn't get all the way to the goalie. That was blocked. Mike Nadiger has it here. As again, we see the Nadiger brothers as a defensive pairing, and that was a good find towards yeah. Warnock. Couldn't control that. Warnock has it again here in the neutral zone. Alex Nadiger plays it forwards towards Scotty. Scotty has it here. Fires a wrist shot into the chest of Campbell. Long rebound. Good job there, I believe. That was Houch who got across there, cleared that puck away. Martinelli plays it cross ice to Mora. Anchorman have had opportunities to extend this lead to four, and I wouldn't be surprised if they get the fourth. And this might be tired legs here for the Eagles, as we mentioned. Yeah. They've only played 12 guys so far in this game. We've seen a deeper rotation from the Anchorman. Natalizia played that puck back into the slot. No one there. Get on the end of that pass. Shot's just going to be fired in from the neutral zone from Viola. We're going to get a line change as Tadino covers up. 14.05 left in the second period. It's 3-0 anchorman. Goal scorers, Warnock, Scotty, Pannone. Yep. A good mix of guys, too. Especially yep. with Pannone in there, you throw in a freshman getting his first goal in a big game like this. It's only going to boost the whole entire team's confidence. And you've seen goals from all three lines so far, and that's what yep. you want, depth and scoring. And the anchormen have been getting that the last few weeks. In the early portion of the season, it was all that Lyman, all, Warnock, yeah. Tobias line. They've almost been slowing down a little bit. Yeah. You haven't seen as much from Lyman over the past couple games. We get an offsides call there as Natalizia just went a little too quickly as Warnock had it on that right wing. But as you mentioned, yeah, Mike Young, slow start to the season. He's come alive. Yeah. That that Warnock, Lyme, and Tobias line slowed down a little bit, but the rest of the team has really picked up their efforts. So it hasn't been an issue here for the anchorman. No, not at all. Which is a good thing. That's what a hockey team wants. They want the depth. They don't want to just rely on one line. Yep. Mora has it here in the neutral zone. Just going to dump it forward. Truly takes possession of the puck, skates behind his own net. Here come the Eagles breaking out onto the right wing. That's played forward as Luis Rodriguez, he comes in for his first minutes of the game here for the Eagles. Yep, definitely see tired legs now that they're switching in some of those guys. S shot from the point by Chuli, just high and wide. Had a good look at that shot from here, just missed that top right corner. If you're looking on screen, that would have been over the left shoulder of Tadino. Puck play behind, Tadino's gonna slow it down, Mora picks it up. Puck played back in there. Aaron Delande as well is on the ice. So we're starting to see Daniel Webster go to the bench a little yeah. more here as Russell has it. Again, the freshman out of Tingsboro. And he just gets cleared off the puck there. I believe that was Pannone. They're going to have a penalty on that one. Like Coach said during the break, if you have that six inches to a foot range and they end up hitting the boards, they're going to call you on that one. But I don't think this one's going to be anywhere near what they gave Huber. Pannone will be able to stay in the game. So Pannone, who had picked up a goal er th earlier this period, is going to skate to the penalty box. Two minute. It's going to go on him. So another power, a power play opportunity for Daniel Webster. They've really struggled so far tonight, have multiple opportunities, have made nothing of them so far. Need to make this one count down three. Guarino shovels a pass, or a shot in. Blocked away by Tadino. Tracked down behind by McGrath, who plays it back out towards Guarino. Anchorman clear. Campbell leaves it for Loringer. Loringer struggling to control that puck. Pressure put on by Rose. Eagles have it here. Coming forward with it is Loringer. Loringer loses, nearly lost possession there at center ice. He has it now on the left wing. Going to fire the wrist shot. That's going to be saved again by Tadino. Rebound fell back to Loringer behind the net. Puck out to Guarino at the point. He plays it off the boards. Houch skates inside. Couldn't get a shot off there. Good job by Rose. Just disrupting the rhythm of Houch there. 
Anthony tried playing that forwards to Rose. That pass was intercepted by Loringer. Puck still loose here in the neutral zone. Shel shoveled forwards. I believe that was Nick Bruno. Here comes Corcoran. He cuts inside. Tries firing. Rebound fouls to Houch. Shot again. Pushed around the post by Tadino. Back out to Guarino at the point. Plays it across. Viola has it here for the Eagles. He gets it inside. Corcoran tried to spin and fire. Again, couldn't get the shot off. Anchorman defense doing a nice job disrupting the Eagles as they're ready to pull the trigger. Puck in front for Corcoran. Reflex saved by Tadino. He's on his back he now. He's got to get up. And we see a huge hit that there. That was a big hit. He's hurt. That was Cody Warnock again wow. with a huge hit. And they didn't call anything. There's no – that was a legal hit. That was Michael Houch on the receiving end of that one. He took a little while to figure out where he was. Got to keep an eye on that. It looks like his head might have hit the boards. Yeah. Kind of hard. So you want it. They're going to check him out when he goes him. to the bench, and that shot is going to be covered up by Tadino. That came from the point from Viola. Penalty killed off by the anchorman once again. And Daniel Webster, they're going to look at the, at the stat line at the end of this game and say we had opportunities on the power play and got nothing from it up until this point. Again. Yes. Still 30 minutes of hockey left in this <laughs> one, so. <laughs> That's a lot of hockey. Things can change. As we have, it looks like a Daniel Webster video guy here across the way. It, it looks does. like their <laughs> camera is from ni 1991. Yeah, it's what that camera looks like. Before it was born. That thing's got to be about <laughs> the same age as we are yeah. up here in the booth. <laughs> Might want to see if there's any money in the budget around <laughs> Daniel Webster to get a new camera. Shot fired in by Nadiger, nearly redirected by Natalizia in front. Truly did a good job there putting some pressure on Natalizia. Scotty has it here in the corner. Daniel Webster has it in the corner. Played around here to Gordon. Nadiger's going to fire a shot. That one got deflected well wide this time. Always got to hold your breath when you see those shots from the point deflected because you have no idea no where those things are yeah. going. Now, Elizia steals it on the four check. It's going to be lifted up over the defense. Nadiger has it. Played it across to his brother, who plays it forwards to Scotty. Gordon's pass somehow finds his way to Houch. Houch has got men with him. A little stick handling, got the shot off, but played off the post. And we're going to see the net knocked off its pegs, and we're going to get a stoppage here. So good move there by Houch. Had a few guys with him. Probably would have been a little wiser to pass that as he, that angle got more and more acute as he was skating there. 9.20 left in this period. 3-0 Anchorman. Again, your goal scorers, Cody Warnock, Marco Scotti, and Ricky Pannone. Seen two goals this period. Warnock scored in the first stanza. Mike Nadiger lifts that puck out of play. We see another face off here. Refs going to get a new puck here. It's like a fan from Daniel Webster has a souvenir. <laughs> souvenir from a game that isn't in their favor. Rhode Island College's fan section, the Anchorheads picked up a game puck <laughs> yes, on Saturday yes, night. Yes, they did. For their effort in the stands <laughs> there as they... Help drive the Anchorman to a victory. That's a good way to put it. Houch has it here. And Marco Scotti goes flying into the boards. He was looking to lay out Houch and And laid out himself. <laughs> Here comes McGrath for the Eagles. Shot blocked there by Martinelli. He's going to fall right back to Houch, who plays it in towards, or excuse me, that was played in from McGrath to Houch, and, and Houch on the backhand side lifts his shot a bit too high. He got a lot of power on that backhanded shot, though. Mora has it here on the right wing for the anchorman. Skates away from Guarino, has it in front, plays it. Oh, nearly oh. poked home there. By Luther, again, the stick handling by Brett Moore has been fantastic oh, yeah. tonight. It got was a good move to put him back on D, for sure. Got away from Guarino and centers the puck for Luther. Uh, excuse, for Luther, yes. Luther just couldn't prod it home. Luther here is going to skate in to take this face off. 3-0 here, Anchorman with the lead. 
8.20 left in the second period. Been a lot of chances in this game for the Anchorman, and a lot of them have been created by Brett Mora as that puck goes out of play. Going to see another faceoff here. McGrath is going to skate in for the Eagles. It's going to be Luther taking it for the Anchorman. Puck here with Daniel Webster. Delande, he's in the mix for it as well as Houch. Puck play forward towards Viola, just a bit behind him. Martinelli cleans it up. Luther tried playing it forward. Anchorman looking to keep the puck in. Runs all the way to Martinelli in the neutral zone. He plays a pass up towards Pannon. Or excuse me, that was Vani. No, that was Pannon, excuse me. <laughs> Eight, nine on the same they, line. They skate pretty much the same way. It's pretty similar yeah. looking guys. So. Yeah. Martinelli has it once again for the anchorman. His pass intercepted at center ice by Guarino. Houch skates his way away from Mora. Mora's just not letting off. him by. Martinelli dives down to make sure that puck didn't get anywhere near to Dino. Martinelli got hammered into the wow. boards there. We're going to get a whistle to break things up as Mora came skating in. Got a good solid hit on Houch there. I don't think the anchorman liked that hit on Martinelli. No, not at all. Why go after the little guy? It's a dangerous hit, too. That was from behind yeah. into the boards. Seen some refs call that before. We've seen refs today call that. Nothing here on that one, so. Just want consistency from the refs. They're not going to be perfect, no. but you like them to be a, a, a little consistent. A little more consistent than they've been here tonight. Exactly. And we've seen that in games past. But that's an issue for another day. <laughs> Corker in prods 1-4. Their shot comes off the stick of Loringer. Again, saved by Tadino, who's been excellent between the pipes. Conway picks up the puck here in the corner. Goes cross ice in the direction of Rosniak. Couldn't control that puck. D'Angelo played it four there for the Eagles. Conway picks up that loose puck. Here comes Luther. Shovels it forward. Rosniak's going to chase this loose puck. Truly gets there, plays it forward. Ackerman have it there, played forward by Bruno. Again, pass behind Loringer there. Daniel Webster, their attack has really come to a screeching halt here in the pre in the last couple of minutes. Anchorman have been consistently creating opportunities so far in this one. That was Lyman there who put the brakes on for a moment. Couldn't get away from the defender, Delande. Or excuse me, D'Angelo. D'Angelo's going to pick up the puck here in the corner. Tobias putting a little pressure on it, but he loses his footing. Puck in the corner once again for the anchorman. Play back out to the point to Conway. Gives it right back in the direction of Tobias. Puck go, falls to Lyman. Warnock has it behind the net. Back out to Conway. It was a good find. Thought about the shot. Finally takes it after a pump. Kicked away by Campbell. And Bruno couldn't handle that slow rolling puck. So the anchorman have to retreat a bit here and re -attack, start their attack up once again. with a little hit into the boards over there. Conway now skating through the neutral zone, plays it forward. We're going to see a line change here from the anchorman. Marco Scotti picks up the puck on the right wing, pressure put on by D'Angelo. Nadiger again back. We see the Nadiger brothers on defense once again. A little bit of contact there. there Coming across Young. is Rodriguez. Is he going to? Nope. Now Elizia. He wants to get one step closer. Had it proked away there by Chuli. Again, Mike Young only two points away from 100 career points. Only four previous Anchorman players are in that club. Alex Nadiger once again plays it forwards. Chuli comes across, plays it right back to him. Nadiger coming forward, try to play that one in the direction of Natalizia. 
McGrath gets back there, puts a good check on Natalizia, separates it from the puck. And we're going to get an icing call there on Daniel Webster. 4.09 left in the second period. Again, still 3 nothing. anchor men. Have had their struggles with penalties in this one, but their penalty kill has been fantastic thus oh yeah. far. And Daniel Webster really, really struggling now to get their offensive rhythm going here in the second period. I think they're just struggling to keep up the momentum and stay strong. They're kind of getting winded. Luther wins the faceoff. Shot from Vanny, saved by Campbell. Again, another rebound, though. He's really struggled to cover up those shots and not allow rebounds. None of them have cost him so far. No. Nadiger keeps it in. You see another loose puck. Nadiger, or excuse me, another loose stick. Nadiger, stickless right now, skating around. I believe we're going to get a delayed whistle. And they are going to call that on Mike Viola. Mike Viola, another freshman on the team from Fort Myers, Florida. A lot of Florida I boys on this Daniel Webster team. How do you I don't find know. out how about Daniel yeah, Webster? Don't know. <laughs> don't know how you go from Florida <laughs> to New Hampshire. Especially this year, they're freshmen. Oh yeah, they're, I think they might be regretting their decision. That's a willing <laughs> move too by these guys. I would much rather stay in the yeah. sunshine, sunshine state than move up to New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. But you got snakes over 10 feet in Florida. You got <laughs> alligators all over the place. You got snow over 10 feet here though. Yeah, there's, well, I would rather have snow than like a 24 <laughs> foot boa constrictor. Yeah, I agree. Or, excuse me, Burmese Python oh. as that shot is wide. And here's a fun fact. This is probably one of my favorite fun facts of all time because I'm very afraid of snakes. Oh, me too. That's bad. Any <laughs> snake over 10 feet can slither faster than the fastest human can run. So oh you boy. can't get away from them if they're chasing you. <laughs> Don't tell me that. Yeah, let that, let that fact settle <laughs> oh in. Oh, boy. I hate snakes. Warnock has it as the has it at the point here for the anchormen. Interchange here between uh, Conway and Warnock. Shot fired in in the direction of Tobias. Couldn't get a stick on it to redirect. Conway's going to track back here, pick up this puck. Plays it up towards Scotty. Scotty's going to take it over the blue line. Try to get past Guarino. Guarino not letting him through. Luther tried skating through again. Guarino rises to the occasion. Warnock picks it up. Pressure being put on. 45 seconds left on this power play for the anchorman. Warnock just had his pocket picked there by D'Angelo. Was bearing down on the net. Plays it cross ice to Scotty. First time shot wide. Warnock again with the puck. Mora cutting towards the net. Pass was just behind him. Here comes McGrath for the Eagles, and he's just going to dump it forwards. 20, about 20 seconds left on this power play. Scotty plays it forwards in the direction of Young. He's going to run all the way to Campbell, who just pushes it out to his left. Natalizzi has it behind the net, and he has that stolen away by Chuli. Chuli shovels it forwards again, and that's going to be it on this power play for the anchorman. So nothing comes of it. A good penalty kill by Daniel Webster. 140 left in the second period. Breaking down the right as Luther fires a shot. Save, long rebound. No one from the anchorman there to come home and poke that one into the back of the net. Luther drops it off in the direction of Natalizia. The Eagles defense collapses. Played out to the point. Bruno shovels a shot wide. Puck is behind the net. Finds its way into the back of the net there. I don't know who that was. They're still down. Didn't look like much of a threat when that shot came in from Bruno, but somehow the anchorman find a way to put that into the back of the net. Still don't know who it was. <laughs> Regardless, it's going to be 4 nothing anchorman here, and I think you can put a bow on this one. I think it's yeah. just about over. The Eagles would need just a heroic third period to try and get back into this one. So the anchorman extend their lead to four. Yeah, they got a strong lead now. We're set. Knock on wood. Still. Anchorman 
Started out this game, as we mentioned, struggled a bit. Again, Daniel Webster going to be kicking themselves on the ride home. They have a long ride they to think this <laughs> one over. I think we're having a discussion here between the Daniel Webster coach and the refs here. I think he wanted that puck. I think they redeemed out of play. If they had a review option. Yeah. If they that, knew about the us. The net actually <laughs> might have been off the pegs when that went in. I think that might be the argument he was making. Let's see if we get a review. And we do. We have a replay coming here. So the puck here is behind the net. Or it gets played out to the point here. Shot comes in from Bruno. Puck's now loose behind the net. Net stayed on. Puck went in. Net stayed on before. The puck. The oh yeah. So there the there the net comes off yeah. the the pegs there. That was safe. Well after. Again, I didn't get a good look at who scored that there. No, I still haven't. Puck here with Daniel Webster. The school, not a person. I don't know who Daniel Webster is. I don't know who they named the school <laughs> after. As Rosniak plays it forwards. Coming across the cover was Delande. Under a minute left here in the second period. Puck's going to be dumped forward by, believe that that was Bonin who dumped it forwards there for the Eagles. Chuli's going to track this one down here. Tied up here in front of us was Rosniak. And Delande, or excuse me, Rodriguez. Don't think the ref saw that. No. Another loose stick. Who's who's without a stick? It looks <laughs> like that's Anthony without a stick. So many loose sticks tonight. Mora has it. Tried dumping it in the direction of Warnock. Daniel Webster deals with it. And we're just going to let that puck run out here. So we got a second left, and that's going to be it in the second period. And the anchormen extend their lead from 1-0 to 4-0 here. And... That's just about it. Sam Allen's going to go down and grab us another interview for the second intermission. So stick with us here on Rick Hockey Fridays, brought to you by Anchor TV. Sam Allen here with John Schbett, one of the players on the team. Didn't dress tonight. It's going to replace Coach Cal, who's a little bit under the weather. John, you've m watched most games how do you feel about the team this year? We've had a lot of changes. You're there at practice. How do you feel about the team overall this year? I think we're doing pretty good overall. Um, uh, every practice emphasis, you know, complete. Play a full game of uh, 60 minutes. Keep it going. Keep up the intensity. You know, keep working on the power plays, petting kills, you know. How do you feel? You're a freshman on the team. There's a, there was a lot of you this year, but we also have a lot of guys who might not be returning this year. How do you think with those guys leaving, but the rest, most of you still staying, how do you think the team's going to be doing a year down the road? I think we'll be doing pretty well. Um, some of the new guys we have here, including me, uh, we'll, we'll be ready to step up. You know, we'll watch, and watch the game pretty much and the older guys and so give us tips every day during practice. I think we'll hold up pretty well. There you go. How do you think the team's going to do the rest of the season? Playoffs are coming up, three-game weekend, both against the same team. How do you think it's going to be playing the same team two games in a row? Um, obviously, especially in the first game, if we if we win, then obviously the second game we're gonna be be tougher for us because they're they're gonna know our know our game. A lot of times we're gonna play a lot harder, we'll change up some things maybe. So it's always difficult when you play people back to back. All right. Well, thanks. Good luck to the rest of the season to you and the rest of the team. We'll be right back with more Rick Hockey Fridays. Jared Ware, Sam Allen back here inside the Dennis M. Lynch Arena on the tail end of the second period intermission. A Yankerman up four at the moment for nothing. Sam, what are, you th what are your thoughts on the game so far? I definitely think the game is strongly in our favor. We saw it more in the beginning. It was kind of split between the two teams pretty evenly, but we've taken over the second period for sure. And I'm thinking just because they haven't used a lot of depth to their bench, the Eagles haven't. It's going to help. It's only going to help us in the end. They're going to get tired. We're going to stay energized. As we've seen, three people, three people scored, well, four total, but from three different lines, Yep. which is always something any team likes to see. And just for an update, we figured out who scored that last goal. It was Brian Luther who got it in okay. with an assist from Mike Young and Bruno. That puts Mike Young within one point. I repeat, one point of 100. So, so we could see something tonight. That, that looks like that'll be the major storyline of this third period because the anchormen, all they have to do is play solid defense for 20 minutes, limit their mistakes, and they're going to walk away here with a win and continue their reign atop 
the NECHA conference. Thought this was going to be a closer game. I definitely did. But again, as we mentioned, Daniel Webster, not the deepest roster in the world, and they really started to tire in that second period, and the anchorman took advantage of them. And as I've said a bunch of times so far, the Eagles had their chances early in the first, weren't able to take any of them, and that Warnock goal to, to open up the scoring for the anchorman, especially when Daniel Web Webster was in control of the game at that point, that looked to be the turning point in this one. Oh, yeah. So we've got 20 more minutes of hockey here. Rick Hockey Friday is brought to you by Anchor TV. Mike Young's going to take the face off here against McGrath for the Eagles. Mike Young wants that point. Puck up against the boards here. Natalizia in a scrum here against Gordon. Puck is going to be possessed by Marco Scott. He tried playing it towards Young. And, you know, I don't think Mike Young wants an assist for no, for 100. I think all. he wants a goal. Be Last year when Greg Dickamitas had it, he had a shorthanded breakaway. That was how he got his 100 point. Young wants something just as cool as that. Young had a shot just wide. We'll see how the team plays. If I think everyone will be looking, at, looking to get the puck to number 20. Yes. Bruno fires one in. Natalizia picks up that shot, fires it back in. Save there by Campbell. Good job coming in from behind, lifting the stick was Natalizia, lifted the stick of Houch. Houch has it here for the Eagles, plays it forward. Bruno has it now for the anchorman in the neutral zone, fires it up to Scotty, who gets away from a defender. Deep pass Chuli. Puck is loose Puck and is poked home. In. No whistle, no nothing. Is, that was good. And that is Cody Warnock with the discount double check celebration, and that went right through the legs of Campbell and was just sitting there to be prodded home. The second goal of the night by Cody Warnock. And that'll be the easiest goal he scores all year. Oh, yeah. Did you just say discount double check? He did do the discount double check oh, celebration I that. there. If you missed it, did it right oh, to the I Daniel Webster fans. Man. So 5 nothing here inside the Dennis M. Lynch Arena. And that one you got to put on Campbell there. Got to cover that up. But a good bit of awareness by Warnock. And if there was any, any doubt, Warnock just put this one beyond it. Puck stolen away there from Bonin. Martinelli has it. Bonin's mom in the stands wearing his jersey, <laughs> wearing the red jersey. Warnock here in possession once again, battling with, Ro with Rodriguez. Warnock loses his footing. Warnock's not getting up too fast. Oh, there we go. Mora has it. Can't play it forwards because Warnock was offside. Tobias plays it up to Warnock here. Warnock fires. Save there. Again, a long rebound. We're getting a whistle. And it looks like I think Rodriguez. They high stick on Rodriguez. Louis Rodriguez is going to take a seat. Sophomore out of Lake Worth, Florida. So another power play opportunity here for the anchormen. Tobias is going to take the face off here. Conway fires a shot. Hit That's the inside good. of the post, and they're going to call that in. Rodriguez didn't have to stay in the box too long. Just <laughs> over the line there. What a shot that was from Conway. That was perfect. Good feed. He was open and ripped that one. Let's take a look at the replay here. This came off another face-off win for the anchorman. Tobias is going to win the face-off here. Let's take a look. Give it to Conway. Conway's got it. He Boom. fires, hit the inside of the post, but every bit of the puck got over the line mm -hmm. there, according to the ref. So it's 6 nothing here. <laughs> With now only was, two minutes into this period. Like I said, I thought this one was going to be like a 3-2. to two. Yeah. Or a two to one if you situation. Would ask me at the beginning of the game, what my prediction was, I was going with the three to two, three to four kind of game. Another whistle oh, here. Looks like Vanny's going in the box. So Vanny's going to take a seat. Daniel Webster on the power play at this point, just looking to salvage something. Got about 18 minutes left in this one. Anchorman, well in control of this. No one from the Anchorman fan, uh, from that Anchorman fan base, they're not leaving early. They're going to stick it out through this whole game. Oh, yeah. Great fan base is always here in the Dennis M. Lynch Arena for these Anchorman. Viola is going to pick up this loose, loose puck. 
Nadiger's just going to dump this back in. Mike Nadiger rifles one forward. Spencer Rose is going to take possession, but we're getting it offsides. Call there on the anchor men. 17 48, 139 left on this power play for the Eagles. The Eagles, who really have never taken flight in this one. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Rose is going to take the faceoff skating in as Corker in for Daniel Webster. Truly has it. Plays it off the boards to Viola. Nearly intercepted by Anthony. Would have had possession in a dangerous area. Looking to break forward down the left wing for the Eagles is Bonin. And again, it's stolen away and cleared forwards. Campbell's going to slow up the puck. Viola's going to take possession of it. Cross ice pass a bit too far, a bit too far ahead of Bonin. Alex Nadiger picks up the puck again. It's just going to clear it forwards. Center ice. Viola snags it out of the air. Possession here with Viola. Not much threat going forwards on this power play by Daniel Webster. Marco Scotty has possession. Again, he's just going to dump it forward. It's going to go all the way to Campbell. 38 seconds left on this power play for Daniel Webster. That's going to be stolen here. Scotty has it. Plays it over in the corner to Natalizia. And we're going to get a penalty there. And they're going to call that on Scotty, so he's going to skate over to the penalty box once again. We're going to have a quick discussion <laughs> with the ref before he goes in. We're actually going to see Good matching magic. penalties as Viola is going to go in as go in as well. So we got 26 seconds left on the original penalty that was called on Vanny, and we're going to see two minutes apiece for Viola and Scotty. Just going to settle up, settle things down here a little bit. Both teams just going to figure out who they want on the ice here. Warnock's going to take this face off against McGrath. Shot there. And into the back of the net. I believe that was Cody Warnock once again. I believe that was a hat trick for Cody. Subdued celebration I from think Warnock. That was three. If I know my math, which I, I know some. 7-0 here inside the Lynch Arena. Cody Warnock has come to play. And again, it looked like he scored directly <laughs> off the faceoff once again. That would be a second time. So he wins the faceoff, gets past his defender, and fires again inside the near post. Campbell's got to do better. So we see the hat trick on the night from Cody Warnock. And that may be a uh, little precursor to who we're going to see Sam Allen talk to <laughs> on the ice Just after the game. Possibly. Not my Not my call. Sam Allen, sole imp sole possession of these interviews. We've seen Lyman get a hat trick beginning of the season. Now it's Cody's turn. They just help each other out. Face off here won by the Eagles. Stolen there by Warnock. He's looking for his fourth. Fires. Tried lifting that one a because bit too high isn't there. Enough. Martinelli has it. He plays it towards Warnock. Warnock dumps it into the attacking zone. Russell leaves it off for his defenseman. Mora keeps it in. Goes over towards Warnock, who's been laying cast. He's just out been laying all people night. out all over the place. Hit one, turn around, hit another. Mora has it now, fires, hits the roof with that shot. I believe that got partially deflected. So we're going to see line changes here. Face-offs have been an area of weakness here, especially in the attacking or in the defensive zone for Daniel, Wester, they, uh, Daniel Webster. They've really struggled. Warnock has scored two goals directly off a of face-off victory. We saw him assist a goal to Conway as well. Conway fires that shot off the glass. 
Vanny tracks that puck down. Conway has it, fires in a shot wide. Bruno fires in a shot, poked away by Campbell. Truly just looking to get the puck out of the zone here. The Eagles finally do. This is Rodriguez going forwards. Has his shot partially deflected by Conway. Anchorman are breaking down the right wing. Cross ice. Good find. Here comes Luther. Luther's got a goal in this one. The fourth goal of the game went to Brian Luther. That feels like ages ago. I know, right? Lonnie in the corner. Daniel Webster looking to break out. Conway intercepts. Good pressure here by Rodriguez. He gets tripped there. No call. No call. Conway looks to look to have left his stick and his leg a in there to trip bit. Rodriguez. And we're going to get an icing call there. That's a close call for Conway there. I'm surprised it wasn't the call. There was a ref yeah. right there. Yeah, definitely close. Walking a tight rope was Brad Conway, but he gets away with it. We see the faceoff here. McGrath is going to skate in to take it as well. Spencer Rose. Anchorman 14 minutes away from another victory here inside the Lynch Arena. Guarino dumps it in. Didino's going to shovel it along towards Conway. McGrath has it. Plays it across up front and deflected home by Viola. That's a great finish by Viola. Good feed by McGrath. So that's our first goal we've seen in two games here against yeah. the Anchorman defense. Tadino shoveled it, would try to shovel it along towards Conway. The pass was a little too hot. McGrath picked it up on the right wing, took his time, found Viola in the middle, and Viola poked it home. Kind of poked that puck out of midair, yeah. too. That wasn't an easy finish. Made it look pretty easy, though, so it's 7-1. to one. And now the coaches. Still the Anchorman's game. Now the coaches have something that they can harp on after the game. Didn't keep the clean sheet here. Shot by Rosniak into the chest of Campbell. We're going to get in the delayed call. whistle. Lots of penalties. As we see again, a little extracurricular Ooh. activity there. I believe that's Rodriguez. R Rose going at it. No, that's D'Angelo down there. I believe that's nine. That is D'Angelo. We're going to see Rose and D'Angelo. Matching penalties there. D'Angelo, freshman out of Nashua, New Hampshire. Nashua High School. Doesn't say if Nashua North or Nashua South. I think there's... There's two? I believe it's Nashua North and Nashua South. The last time I oh, checked... Oh, Anthony's going in the box, too. Well, so, yep, Larry Anthony... He's going to take a seat as well. Seeing a lot of penalties this period. Yeah, a we've seen a lot of penalties in this game. Yeah. A lot of penalties, a lot of goals as well. So a lot of goals, a lot of penalties. It bank for your buck tonight here. Yeah. According to Warnock, we have 5-4. So it's going to be 5 on 4. 2 minute, 2 minute matchings. Yep. From D'Angelo and Rose and Rose and then and Anthony. Larry's got his own. He's gonna take a seat as well. Yeah. Relax for a little while. We haven't seen much of Young since that yeah. first shift this period, which is surprising because he's so close to that hundred. Warnock's gonna take this face off against Corcoran. Alex Nadiger plays it off the boards. Alex Lyman's gonna pick up this puck on the right wing. Just dumps it forwards, looking to skate past his defender and gets easily past the defender there. Delande was the defender. Struggling for pace against, War uh, excuse me, Lyman. Delande has it now, plays it forwards. Marion has it, who played a lot of minutes yeah, earlier in this game. Haven't, haven't seen, seen much. much of him since. I wonder if there's something actually did happen with his arm that first period. Yep, that would be a good question to ask post-game. To the coaches, if we got a chance, the puck was in front there. Corcoran crashed, couldn't poke it home. Shot from Delande, blocked by Warnock. Warnock just decided to use his body. 
always a daring move to just put your body in front of a quickly moving puck. And I think they're giving him a yep. dive for that. Wow. <laughs> I think they're going to say interference yeah. as he tripped Delande, yeah. so he's going to take a seat. <laughs> That's not something that Ankerman want to see right now. It's going to be five on three here for a minute and 15. And now the crowd's going a little bit crazy. Now they're not feeling the ref so much. Crowd not happy, but it's 7-1. to one. Well, Exactly. What's not to be happy about at this point? Puck lifted and cleared. It's going to go all the way to Campbell. Campbell gives it off to Chuli. Opportunity again for Daniel Webster just to get a little something here for their confidence. You don't want to go away with a 7-1 loss. That doesn't look good on the score sheet. No. Especially this Seven to two to doesn't look end. much better, but <laughs> you score two goals. Delande's going to give chase here. Lyman putting some pressure on him. Mike Nadiger's just going to clear this loose puck into the chest of Delande at center ice. Delande shovels it forwards. Alex Nadiger is going to clear it. No mistake there. 29 seconds on the original penalty. It's going to be five on three for about 20 more seconds. Marion has it. Poked away briefly by Mora. Houch has it. Lays it off to Truly. Truly goes across to Delande. Fires in the shot. Kicked away. Kicked and covered by Tadino with the glove there. So four seconds remaining a five on three. I think they might have to wait for a whistle, though, before they both pop out just because it was matching. I think. If my memory stands. Face off here. McGrath took it against Mora. Houch has it. Tried dropping one off back in front. Houch still in possession here. Tried going cross ice towards McGrath. McGrath plays it back out to Gordon, who fires a shot in the chest of Tadino. He covers that up. Are they not? Are they allowed out? Oh, I think. No one has come out so far, but it is. Well, it's back to five on four here. So, yeah, Marco Scotty did come out of the penalty box okay. there. D'Angelo's just hanging in there. <laughs> He's just drilling. Scotty off the boards. Guarino keeps it in. Fires a shot. Saved with the glove by Tadino. Hot shot. But he got the glove in front of that one. And if he didn't, he would have taken that right off the face mask. Yeah, that wouldn't have been comfortable. 11.23 left in this game. 23 seconds left on the penalty on the power play here for Daniel Webster. Martinelli has it, plays it off the boards, kept in by McGrath. Guarino at the point, wrists a shot in. Wow. McGrath nearly redirected that in front to Dino. Did a good job keeping that one out. Under 10 seconds left in this power play for the Eagles. Guarino plays it forwards. McGrath has it. Should have been offsides there, no call. McGrath in front all by himself, and he's stoned by Vinny to Dino. Plays it back into the slot. We're going to get a delayed penalty. I don't know on who. Shot fired in there by McGrath. So we were back to full strength for just a moment. And it looks like Martinelli, Mike Martinelli he's going to go back to the penalty box. And it's fitting that this third period is chock full of anchorman penalties yeah. because the first the period, first period was. was loaded with Just them. a little trip and call. We got a bunch of anchorman penalties followed by a bunch of anchorman goals and then some more penalties. Still 7-1 here. A touchdown and an extra point again from the Anchorman. They scored nine goals the last time we were here. Rodriguez is still in the box. He's just hanging out. <laughs> Puck all the way behind Mora. He's going to get that clear as Chuli couldn't keep that in. Delande pokes it forward. Chuli has it now for the Eagles. Chuli showing his stick handling ab ability here. Brought into the attacking zone here by Corker, and he went cross ice a little too strong there. Intended target was Bonin. 
Moore has it now in the neutral zone for the anchorman. Plays it towards Lyman. Lyman just shovels it forward. Young came off the bench there, couldn't corral that pass, and he's just got to poke that forwards. As, as we mentioned, every time Mike Young comes, steps on the ice, only one point away from 100, he takes a seat now. Viola, the goal scorer, coming forward. Tries playing it forwards towards Corcoran. And we're going to get an icing call on Daniel Webster. Nine forty-four, fifty-six seconds left on this power play for the Eagles. Once again, they've been on a power play for most of this period up to this point. Warnock's going to take the face off. Tried again to win that face off and get a shot off. He scored from the same position earlier in the game, opened up the scoring here. Julie goes cross ice. Corcoran has it down the right wing. Trying to skate away from Mora. Mora takes uh, excuse me, takes Corcoran off the puck. Julie has it. Fires a shot that gets knocked into the ceiling. Mora got out there, deflected that shot. 34 seconds. Remaining on the power play here for the Eagles. Looking to just get something, get something out of this else. third period. <laughs> not much they can do at this point. Down six, nine minutes to go. Nearly not much you can do. Puck still loose here. Russell off the board to Guarino. Guarino fires a shot. McGrath was trying to redirect in front. Warnock has it behind the defense here. Oh, Couldn't man. control that loose puck, though. A little bit of contact there, pushing and shoving. Cody put his arms up like, I'm not doing anything. Warnock knows that they can't afford to have any more penalties, so he's like, I'm not doing anything in this, even though he's going to skate to the box anyways. So Warnock is going to go to the penalty box as well as Guarino. Warnock telling the crowd to settle down. We're in control <laughs> like, of this right, game. Guys. We're up six. <laughs> They've been on the power play for most of this game and haven't found any success. Looks like we're also going to see Russell. Russell's talking to the ref. He is going to go into the box here. So it looks like it's going to be four on four hockey here. Anchorman box is a little crowded. Spencer Rose is still in it. Yeah. We got three guys in there along with our cam and camera guy. Along with our cameraman, Nate Bissell, on the front lines. As he's you see his camera work on screen at the moment. It's a full house down there. Refs still talking <laughs> over with their scores. They're going to throw a water bottle just to give the guys a little bit of. <laughs> so we got everything figured out here. It's going to be four on four. Do they have three guys in there too? I think so. Yeah, we got three bodies in the Daniel <laughs> Webster penalty box. And a few of these games that we've seen, we've seen four or five four guys in the yeah. penalty box at a time. I think our so cameraman had like five guys with a one game. This is not unusual for Red no. Hockey Fridays brought to you by Anchor <laughs> TV. If you date back to the EastCon game where that was oh. littered with penalties and all sorts of shenanigans to say the yeah. least. We think there's a lot of penalties tonight. We were on the back page of the score sheet for that game. Yeah. A little oh, chirping little across chirping. the box. Let's turn this off because that's entertaining. We apologize for any defensive language so we're going to get back to the action here <laughs> as Cody put it 7-1 close game we also heard I got three goals how many do you have buddy <laughs> answer would be zero so so the anchorman doing a little bit of chirping, and you can do that when you're up when six you're goals. Up seven one. Exactly. Another icing here on Daniel Webster. <laughs> Guys, actually, see, sound, sound pretty friendly to one another right now. <laughs> I think these guys have kind of. Uh, 
the Daniel Webster guys have just you know accepted their fate in this one. Just outplayed in just about every facet of the game tonight. Nadiger has it. Plays it forwards onto the stick of Luther. Daniel Webster defense is back. Puck falls to Young, and Young, he finishes with a goal, and that is number 100. There we go. For Mike Young. See a little celebration a little here. Hit his head on the boards <laughs> after he scored. Might that might be a little fuzzy for us to remember that. But we said you may see point number 100 here, and we also said it was more than likely going to be a goal, or he would have preferred it to be a goal, and there it is. Right there, the puck played into the center by Luther, gets deflected into the path of Young, and he's not going to miss with no one in no. front of him except the goalie. Buries that shot. It's 8-1, to one, and we've seen history here. So now the question is, is Sam Allen going to interview the 100-point scorer or the guy who pulls down the hat trick? Or maybe know. both. Who knows? I'm thinking I might just do both. Who knows? I don't know, though. At the same time, I think I should give Young the spotlight. I don't know. Figure it out. Tough decisions <laughs> as an interviewer. Uh, they are. But the tough ones need to be made here on Anchor TV. <laughs> Pressure's on. Alex Lyman's going to take this face off. It looks like we're back to five-on-five five hockey here, though we still have a plethora of guys in the penalty yeah. box. I don't think Spencer and um, whoever's in the box for his matching, I don't think they're coming out anymore. Rodriguez, ha the, him and Rodriguez have been in there for a good while. Must, I think they might have 10-minute majors. They have to. It's the only thing that would make sense. Natalizia has it. Delande in possession now plays a goal. We still got eight minutes left in this hockey game, so we could see some more goals here from the anchormen. Maybe Mike Young adds to his tally of 100 career points. Has two points tonight, a goal and an assist. Nearly had another as he deflected that puck towards the net. Eagles have it here, breaking forwards. Here comes Houch. Ouch, cuts inside. Pressure put on by Moore. Defensively plays it in front for Viola, who's already scored. Puck was loose there. Houch had a chance with a sliver, a slither, sliver of net open. Couldn't get his stick on the end of that deflection. Seven, 742 left in the third period here again. Score is 8-1 to one. Anchorman well in control. <laughs> We've seen a hat trick from Warnock. We've seen 100 total points reached by Mike Young. It's been a fantastic game if you're an Anchorman fan. If you're a Daniel Webster Eagle fan, uh, you don't yeah. want to watch the replay. They, they seem a little quiet on that side. They might want to take that tape that they have right now <laughs> and uh, just, just put that in the old dumpster. But seeing a, that's probably going to be like a VCR tape, I so I don't even know. Are there VCR players game. left to play that? I don't think so. Holy smokes. Tobias has it. Try to give it right back to Lyman. Pass was just too strong for him to latch on to. <laughs> and we're going to take it back down to the other side. Nice. Icing called on the anchorman there. Corcoran going to take this face off with Tobias. Tobias wins that one. <coughs> Lyman comes away with the puck. Down to Pannone. Plays it up towards Pannone. Truly. Battling with Pannone against the glass here. Puck pops, pops out. Lyman has it. Right back to Pannone. Tobias wraps around. Puck in front. Finds the back of the net as Alex Lyman Alex goes Lyman. five hole. He hasn't seen a goal in a little while. He's kind of been on, not a slump I would say, but. Everyone getting while. in on the action tonight. <laughs> Everyone's going to want to get on the ice after that goal. As Tobias feeds Lyman in front, backhand, five-hole, back of the net, Campbell. He's going to want to forget tonight. Lyman now has 16 goals on the season, and after Cody Warnock's three goals, 
he has 22. That's a lot. Yes, that is a lot of goals. Less games than that. Nattiger. Alex Nattiger, that is. So you got the brothers again out there. Luther in possession. Very rarely do we come into Rick Hockey Fridays here and see a low-scoring game. Yeah. Tonight's no different. We saw nine goals in the last game we covered against WPI. We've seen nine here. The only difference is Daniel Webster able to get a goal of their own. We've seen some good games so far. Season's starting to wind down. We've seen one loss. Good record on our part. A lot of these games on Anchor TV recently, whether it be hockey or basketball, not the tightest contests in the world. We did get that weekend against Keene State where we had two great basketball games. Oh, yeah. So if you're into drama, <laughs> Anchor TV. It's the place Anchor today. TV Sports might not be the place this year. <laughs> as that shot comes in from Delande, covered up by Tadino. But as we get towards the playoffs in both sports, those games are going to get really tight. Oh, yeah. Especially if the basketball team gets into playoffs, but that's a story for another day because that tournament is going to be wild. That's good. Oh, yeah. But also here it would be interesting to see if the anchormen get a playoff game here. That would be mm -hmm. excellent. Because they did you know last that's year for the first time ever. And you know that will be a hotly contested yep. game. And that's where this team is looking at oh this yeah. point. They look to be peaking at the right time. They're playing great hockey as a team. And they're going to be a tough out in the playoffs. And they have, they have revenge on their mind. They lost in the final last year to Roger Williams. And oh, yeah. You know, they don't want to go up there and have to lose again. Thankfully, Roger Williams is not in our conference anymore. Puck being moved around here by Daniel Webster. Rodriguez shovels it forward. Not much going all night for the Eagles. It's going to be a long ride back to New Hampshire. <laughs> you know that for sure. Oh, yeah. Long and quiet. For sure. Not going to be too much to talk about. Anchorman coaching staff, you would expect them to be happy after <laughs> this one, but you never know. You never know. Not with this. They're always looking, always looking for more, regardless oh, yeah. of the score, regardless of how their team play. They want them to play, get better and better each game. And as we said, that we've seen that. If you go back and watch the tape from the early season, this team is more complete, playing better hockey as we get a penalty there on Rodriguez once. Or excuse me. That's going to be, yes, that is Rodriguez. Oh, he's getting thrown. And he's getting the boot. So he'll get a jump, an early jump on the showers here inside the Lynch Arena. For all intents and purposes, this game has been over since pretty <laughs> much the middle portion of the second yeah. period. Daniel Morris, the only action of his game is skating across <laughs> the ice and taking a seat in the penalty box. Morris at a Braintree, Massachusetts. Hey, I've actually heard of that town. It's in the Boston <laughs> area. Natalizia in the corner. Luther with the puck here. Squares up, goes behind the net to Young, who dropped to a pass into the slot. No one there for the anchor men. Moore tracks down the loose puck. 4.33 left in this game. Five-minute major, so it's going to be five on four for the rest of the game for the Anchorman, which is not a good sign for the Daniel Webster. There's a diving save that by was a Campbell. Nice save, I thought that was going in. For good sure. move, good move by Luther down the left wing, unselfishly squares it for Natalizia. Didn't make great contact with that, and a great diving save by Campbell. You can put that one on the highlight reel. Oh, yeah. That's a nice save. I wonder if uh, the guy with the old camera got that. A few of the other goals he let up. Opposite of the highlight reel. Yeah. That would be on the <laughs> blooper reel. Sports Center, not top 10. And they weren't that bad, but Scotty has it now. Goes cross ice. Conway already has a goal on the night. Gives it off to Warnock, who's got three of them. Warnock just faking them out left and right. Shot from Conway just wide. Scotty has the puck now for the anchorman. We're just going to keep moving the puck around. Four minutes, a man up for the rest of the game. This is just about. Trying to pad your stat line, but it's two on one here for McGrath, who goes cross ice a little too hard there for Corcoran. A glimmer, a glimpse of a chance for the Eagles. Can't convert, and the anchormen are going to bring it back up. Pass just out of the reach of Tobias. 
It's going to be kept in here, or it's, it's going to be cleared there, excuse me, by McGrath, and giving chase to that is going to be Scotty. Line changes for both teams. Scotty brings it up. Down the left wing, slows things up, goes cross ice. Warnock wants it, gets it. Goes, tried to go, tried to go cross ice to Scotty. Scotty has it here in the corner. Working the red line, tries to shot. That's blocked there by Campbell. Back out to Warnock at the point. Puck being moved around nicely here. We see four forwards on the ice. One true defender in Conway, but Scotty has roots as a defender as well. Warnock, shot, deflected wide. Truly has it. He's got to clear it here. Miss hit that, so it stays in just barely, but a good job here by Daniel Webster getting it out finally. Bonin has it. Dumps it forward all the way to to Tadino. Shot near from Bonin there as Warnock lost possession of it. Another half chance for Daniel Webster, but again, nothing comes of it. Kind of like we were saying last week against WPI, you have these half shots, but there's nothing gets completed. Yep. Yeah, WPI was really struggling <laughs> to get a clean shot off. Yeah. They were pretty awful at points. And Daniel Webster, they've had chances, but again, just misfire just a bit. Just over two minutes left in this game. The anchor men cruising up by eight. Can they get to double digits is the question here. Again, a little discussion here between the scorekeeper and the ref. The matching penalty with Rose. The uh, Daniel Webster left. Rose is still in the box. And they're going to call him He's back into back. the box. I think this is the second time they called him back to the box. Matt D'Angelo. He's got to skate back across the ice. He just does not remember when he's supposed to come out. Face off possession here with Martinelli. Anchorman just gonna work this clock down to zero. Alex Nadiger tries attacking the the Daniel Webster defense. Puck down forward here. Bonin, or excuse me, Marion just plays that forward. Nadiger up to Martinelli. Possession here with Mike Young. Shot blocked, goes out of play. He was looking for point one oh one with that shot. Spencer Rose and D'Angelo yeah, pop out of the out box. Of the box. <laughs> Still the five minute major, so it's gonna be five on four again till the end of this game. Tobias is gonna take this face off McGrath for Daniel Webster steps in. Tobias wins it. Back out to Morris. Mora, excuse me. Mora, slap shot, wide, gloved down by Gordon. And that's going to be cleared by Daniel Webster. Tadino's going to come out of his crease. Leaves it for Mora. Mora taking on everyone in red and blue. Wraps around. Goes out to the point to Bruno, right back to Mora. Mora. Behind the net, in front, Moore takes a shot, just barely saved there by Campbell. Man. Puck nearly came across the line. Under a minute left here inside the Dennis M. Lynch Arena. Tobias brings it up, off to Natalizia. Natalizia has it in the corner. Back to Tobias, Tobias. Leaves it for Mora, Mora to Natalizia. 30 seconds left here. Can the anchorman get to double digits? Mora fakes the shot, leaves it. Shot taken, saved by Campbell. Long rebound is going to be cleared. Under 20 seconds here. Mora is going to take his time to take possession of this. Puck is with Natalizia now. He's going to just shovel it forward. Five and that. Is going to be it here inside the Dennis M. Lynch Arena. Final score, 9-1. to one. We're going to send, send Sam Allen down onto the ice for an interview. 
with her star of the game, and it could be any of a number of anchormen tonight. So stick with us here. We'll be back with an interview with Sam Allen. Sam Allen down here on Ice Love with Mike Young, who scored his 100th career point today. He is now one of five anchormen who are in the 100th point club. Clearly his team is happy for him tonight. Mike, you got that on a goal. How does it feel? Uh, it's great to finally get it over with. <laughs> get it over with? Come on. That's a big thing. You're one of five guys on the team. You're a captain this year. It must be a good feeling to have gotten it in your senior year with only a few games left. Your team in first place. It's kind of like storybook ending for you, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, I'm glad it's over. I'm glad we won, and uh, we're just looking forward to go to the playoffs. How do you guys feel? You're playing Coast Guard two games in a row. How are you guys feeling going into those two games? Uh, we feel pretty confident. We've got to uh, tune up a few things, but here and there, we're, we're getting it. It should be a uh, good rest of the season. All right, well, good luck the rest of the weekend. That's all we have for this edition of Rick Hockey Fridays. I'm Sam Allen for Jared Ware and the rest of the Anchor TV crew, Nate Fist, Tom Lima, Emily LeBlanc, and Shannon Carlson. Have a great night.